I'm Officer Jim Sheeler with the Springfield Township Police Department. I'm here with K-9 Paco. Uh, he's one of two K-9s we have with the Police Department. I'm going to take you on a little tour of our vehicle here that we use for the, uh, the K-9s. So come along with the uh, Springfield Township Virtual Toucher Truck. So if you look in the back of our trunk here, it's a little different from some of the other uh, police cars that you'll see. Uh, this black vault you see here is our narcotics vault. That's where we keep our training aids locked and secure while we're not using them. We also have extra towels and a first aid kit for uh, the canine if uh, something were to happen out in the field and we need to render aid before we can get to a vet. So there's lots of uh, different things that we can uh, use in the, in the emergency for the, the canine. If you look right here, there's all kinds of little goodies that we use for the, uh, the dog to reward him, tugs and uh, balls. And then right here is his tracking harness that we use when we go to uh, track missing kids or anybody that might try to run from the police. And then uh, if you look in the back, way back here, we have different types of uh, sleeves that we use to help protect uh, our arms when we do uh, bite work with the dog. So there's just kind of a couple different sleeves that we use here. So this is canine Paco. Give it up. <laughs> If you take a look in here, this is Paco's kennel. So if you look inside the, uh, the kennel here, you can see he's got a rubber mat that makes it comfortable for a nice long 12 hour shift for him. He also has his water dish. There's a little tube on his slider door that gets him some AC when it's real hot here in the, uh, in the summertime. But this is where our dogs spend about 11 or so hours of the day during shift when uh, they're not in use out in the field. So one of the things that we, uh, that we carry additionally as can inhalers is we carry a, a waist lead and it allows us to just carry this extra piece of equipment. If we have to deploy the dog, uh, obviously the dog don't wear a leash in the back of the car, it just allows us to uh, carry this and not really get it in the, uh, in the way. So in the event that uh, I would need K9 Paco to come help me uh, away from the car and I can't get to the car, I have a, uh, a deployment button here where if I just press this button, it sends a signal to the car, and it's called a hot and pop, and what happens is the door will then pop and allow the dog to escape from the car and he's trained to come find me uh, after the door pops. Here. House. So we'll talk about a few things that these dogs do. Uh, as I said before, Springfield Township has two German Shepherds that are uh, dual purpose canines. I'll explain what that means in a minute. Uh, canine Paco is a six year old German Shepherd. Our other dog is canine Axel. He is two years old. What these dogs do, the first thing is they're certified in narcotics. What that means is basically they look for the odor of narcotics and they will go into a final response and show us where the narcotics are, are hidden. The other part that the, uh, the dogs do is what we consider patrol. And that is the tracking and locating evidence we use the dogs for. Article search is where if there's uh, discarded evidence uh, by a suspect or just even just a lost item that we're looking for. We'll deploy the dog and the dog is trained to look for that human odor that is on the, the object that we're looking for. And uh, when he finds that, he will down on it and wait for us to get there. Um, I believe we're gonna show you that here shortly. Some of the other things that these dogs do is uh, just your basic obedience because obedience is the foundation of everything with these dogs. They're trained to listen to us, and when we tell them to or give them a command, they're trained to respond to that command. So we put a lot of time in, into these dogs to make sure they do as we ask them. So without further ado, we'll uh, demonstrate a um, obedience, and we'll go into the article search. So what we're doing right now is called healing and the dog just has to maintain off-lead obedience and stay by my side and follow. So when I'm taking a knee, Kana Paco is trained to down and hold that down. Lots. Another thing that we work on is distance control. The dog has to hold it down and respond to commands such as hand signals or voice command. So one of the things we use for the uh, emergency supplies we keep for the dog is a mask that uh, 
allows us to put this over the, the nose of the dog. If the squad is on scene, it allows us to hook it up to an oxygen tank, and it comes in handy if uh, we overheat the dog. It just allows us to give the dog extra oxygen and help him recover from heat exhaustion. Hey, here. Here! Here! Lots. I want him to get turned around so you don't see where it's at. Seek! So what you're seeing is canine Paco alerting to the article, which is a cell phone that he located. Plot. Right here. Plot. Free. What he has on is a canine storm vest, and this vest was custom fit for him. It was donated by some kids in, uh, from North Landing Elementary in Virginia Beach. Back in 2016, Canine Paco was actually shot in the line of duty. He was uh, hit actually right here where this little opening is in the vest. He was shot apprehending a suspect on June 3rd, 2016. He did not have this vest at the time. He received the vest uh, a few months after he uh, returned to duty. Plots, plots. So had he had this vest on, uh, or had the vest at the time, it would have protected him. Uh, fortunate for us, he made a quick recovery, and he has showed no signs of slowing down, which is really uh, awesome for us. Free. Sit. Plots. 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 Sit. Give it up. Give it up. So Canine Paco, like I said, is a six-year-old German Shepherd. He does come home with me every night. Uh, he lives in my house with uh, my wife and kids. Uh, he's just another uh, member of our family. Uh, he uh, is trained in German. The reason he is trained in German is because we went through Cincinnati's 14-week Canine Academy, and it was a tradition with the uh, Cincinnati Police Department to train the dogs in the German language. When he came to us back in 2015, he did not know German, he did not know English, he didn't know anything. So he has since learned a few English commands and uh, he responds well to them. So, lots. Free. Lots. Fuss. <laughs>